Hey guys, Julie, how are you? Thank you so much for being here, Life Path One. I am so happy to have you here. Happy April. And um, if you're finding this at a later time, then all of everything I do is timeless. So welcome to the family. Thank you for being here. My name is Julie Salant. I'm an intuitive healer for your life and business. I'm also an animal communicator and I'm a channeler. I channel through God, spirit, the universe, the archangels, your ancestors, and I'm here to help everybody with messages to help you see your challenges and get through them and hopefully to make your life a little bit easier. Um, this is going to be, I will do a message from spirit first, then I will do a channel message for you. And then I will do cards. I, because I'm an animal communicator, I will be using, I'm not a reader, but I use spirit animal cards to help me along. Um, animals come into the mix when they want to give you their attributes that you currently don't have and bring them to your life so that you can be more successful. So I will channel with those. And then I will end it with some um, of the cards that I have um, from the fixed stars, the universe and the moon, and also uh, Egyptian astrology. So I'm very thankful that you're here. Thank you so much. Um, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. I'm growing my channel. Thank you to everyone who's subscribed. Um, and just the quickly, the news that I have is that I have created a month long course, which starts next Monday. Um, and it is going to be all about your gifts. So in the four weeks that we're together, you're going to find what your gifts are, figure out how to use your gifts because they don't come with rules and books. And I wish they did. And then it's going to be getting you into alignment, finding your soul's mission. We're going to do all that in a month. Um, and it'll be, there's three bonuses and I will have the link below. So thank you so much for being here. Let's get started. Okay, so life path number one, just as a refresher here, I don't use zodiac signs, I use life path numbers. We get the life path number by adding up our birthdays. Um, so I'm not gonna go through that because you've probably already seen my prior videos, but if you didn't check, uh, I'll pin it to the top so that you'll know how to do that. Um, each life path number comes with their own word of what they're here to do, their, their own purpose. And as you are a life path number one, uh, you are, you want to be in charge, <laughs> go figure. Uh, you're independent. You have leadership and authority within you, confidence galore. You are calm under pressure. Um, you are an exceptional with um, agility and physical skills. You're a very determined and very courageous person. You're the type of person that kind of runs towards danger to help others. Um, you are, you love to cooperate. You love challenges. Um, the, the only not negative, but shadow side of this is that most women who are ones find themselves caught between wanting to nurture a family or competing in the business world. So for you women out there, it's very important to be very selective of your mate so they can accept you because you will have masculine tendencies. I don't talk about gender on this station because I hate that. I just, I don't really want to go into that area. But what I will say is if I say masculine, you know, a feminine can have masculine vibe and a masculine can have a feminine vibe. It, and if I read cards and I say a he or a she, it's just, it's not gender. It's just what I'm getting from the card. Okay. Just so that we have that out there. And this is, um, this is a channeling that I, that can resonate with you now. And if it doesn't, maybe the next one will, hopefully it will, but it's, it's for everybody. So if it doesn't, then, um, hopefully the next one will just want to get that out there. Okay. So for life path number ones, because you like to be in charge, you will want to work for yourself. You are self-centered, um, but the, the shadow side of that is you can be egotistical, very demanding, okay? And because you feel a strong desire to be number one, really literally number one, you can be arrogant and come across as very boastful, like, you know, like it's all about me. Um, and if you gain, if you gain, if you get lazy, you gain weight, you have headaches and eye problems. Um, but you are very complimented by wearing the color red. So life path number one, we all have good and bad, you know, have, you know, shadow side and another side to us. And that's not a bad thing. You guys are supremely confident. You love helping others. You love challenges and, you know, we need you to shine your light basically. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to read, I always do channelings from spirit. Um, the message that I have for you today is this. Remember to guard your heart, dearest. You do not have to put up a big wall that's unscalable, but be wary and observant of those who would prowl the night as a wolf in sheep's clothing, okay? 
So remember this moving forward, your heart is your greatest asset and your greatest downfall, like your weakness. Don't be deceived easily or give your heart away so easily or your power away so easily. Yes, you, my love, will have a victory and it is not coming. It is here. Yes. So I love that. Um, being somebody who is very heart centered and what I do is uh, one of my colleagues said that I'm kind of like an open heart surgeon energetically. And I think that's true. I help people reconnect their hearts, reconnect their hearts in this world with so much technology. A lot of us have gotten away from our hearts and what our heart and soul wants. And I connect people back to their hearts and I connect them. You know, I always like to see people for their heart versus what they have on the outside, kind of like animals do like, this is my horse Zeus. And, you know, he, he sees me, he doesn't matter if I'm fat, if I'm skinny, if I'm ha happy, he just wants to see my heart and my emotions, not the exterior of me, right? That's what we should all strive for. But if you are very heart centered and you're a really feeling empathic person, you will guard your heart because you have realized that people will hurt you easily, right? So what spirit was saying was, remember to guard your heart, dearest. You do not have to have big unscalable walls. That's not the point, but be wary and observant of those who would prowl the night as a wolf in sheep's clothing. Okay. But remember moving forward that your heart is your greatest asset, but it can also be your weakness. Okay. So don't be deceived easily um, or give your heart away or your power away. You know, that was something I struggled with um, giving my power away easily. And that's not a good thing. So I have called in my team already. Thank you, uh, Archangels. Thank you to my wonderful team that I have. And if you guys have not called in your team yet, I suggest that you start calling in a team. Um, call in your A team, right? There you go. Your A team is basically, I call in the four big Archangels, um, five actually. I call in spirit, spirit, obviously, but I also call it Archangel Michael. Will you be here with me now? Archangel um, Ruff, Uriel, please be here with me now. Archangel Gabriella, please be here with me now. So she, see, Gabriel, people say Gabriel. They see him as a masculine. I see her as a feminine. I call her Gabriella. Whatever works for you. There's no rules, right? Whatever. And then Archangel Raphael and then Archangel Metatron. And I asked them all to be with me and surround me. And so this way I can do my channeling and let down my guard. And then of course I have my spirit animals as well. If you do not have a team yet and you don't know who your team is, you need to find your team. They are there for wisdom. They are there to guide you and they are there to protect you. Uh, I, I roll with a, a big team and they help me tremendously. I could not do this without them. Everything that I give you is not from me. It's from spirit, from God. He just goes through me. And by the way, you don't have to believe in God. You, you can call spirit, you can call it the universe, you can call it your higher self. You can call it Lord Shiva. If you're Hindu, it doesn't matter. Whatever works for you, okay? So let me give you a channeled message. So I'm going to just take a deep breath in. I'd like you to take a deep breath in and focus on your heart, please. So let's take a deep breath in and focus on your heart and think of the best intention that I would like to receive something today from what Julie says. Hopefully I'll call your ancestors forward. So take a deep breath in. Let it out. And I would ask all the ancestors come forward for the people that are listening today so that I can give them the best message that they would like to hear for life path number one. What would you like to share with life path number one? Okay. They are immediately showing me, hold your vision. So many of you out there are trying to reinvent yourselves for either professionally, personally, you know, we're in this pandemic, we've been in this for quite a while now, and today is Easter. Happy Easter, everyone. If you're watching this, you're probably watching a day late because I'll post tomorrow. Um, so it's April, 2021. As I said, everything, if you find me afterwards, it's timeless. But your ancestors and spirit are showing me that you are trying to change yourself and trying to change your environment. You are sick of getting by. You've had it. You're done with it. You're like, I've 
gone the route that everybody wanted me to go. I've done what everybody wanted me to do. And whether you're 20, 30, 50, or 60, or less, or whenever, whatever this finds you, it doesn't matter. It's never too late for you to start again. I get that question all the time. I personally ignored my gifts for a long time and did the corporate route. And I, and I know there was a reason for it. So trust that if you're changing things around your life, there's a reason for it. Trust that everything happened to you because it needed to be that way. You are an infinite being of God, of spirit, of the divine. You are a divine spark. And you are here in a human world, in the 3D world, having a human experience. However, your soul knew you signed up for this, to be here at this time, to learn these lessons, and everything you've gone through, no matter how painful personally or professionally or spiritually or energetically, has all been so that you could learn lessons, right? So please don't think that if you spent 20 years in corporate like I did, that it's too late for you because it's not, because I'm living proof of that. But what they're showing me is that you need to hold your vision. Okay. You know, it's kind of like this. You get up in the morning, right? And, you know, okay, I'm going to like, I've got all these things to do. Okay. So you get ready, go to work. You're sitting down, you got all these things to do. And all of a sudden your phone rings <clears throat> and then you start scrolling <laughs> your email. And then all of a sudden you look, oh, wait, somebody texted me and I should go look at Instagram. Wait, hold on. Let me go do that real quick. Let me take a second. And before you know it, you're way off track and your dreams are still over here going, Hey girl, Hey, I'm over here. Pay attention to me. You know, a lot of us, you know, if you're a night person like myself, you know, by 12 o'clock, I'm just getting going. doesn't mean I got up at 12. I got up earlier, but I'm a night person. I go work late into the night. That's how I roll better, but you need to hold your vision of what you want to accomplish and hold it and keep reinforcing it. In other words, and you need to be specific. It's just like your goals. If you want a Lamborghini, which I do, <laughs> I love cars. Um, if you wanted a Lamborghini, you would want to think about what does that Lamborghini not only look like down to the color, but you'd want to envision yourself opening the door. What would I be wearing when I get into the car? Getting into the car, what would that feel like? Turning it on, closing the door, closing the door, then turning it on. How would I feel? What did it take to accomplish this? And you need to keep reinforcing this over and over and over because your brain doesn't know the difference between what's real and what's not real. So if, you're, if you give your brain something to focus on, it will keep searching for it. I'm sure you've all heard, uh, let's just say you're in the market for a new car and um, you just decide, hey, you know, um, all of a sudden I'm like, I'm really liking the way those Audis look. I really want one of those S5s. I've wanted one of those S5s for the last four years. I'm getting one this year. This is my goal. And you're like, all of a sudden you start thinking about them and you're like, gee, I really want to see that Audi again. I haven't seen that in so long. And all of a sudden you're driving down the road and you see one and then you need to see another one and then another one. They've always been there, but you're, you've told your brain, I want to see an Audi S5. And so your brain starts searching. Okay, there's one. Okay, there's one. And then they start coming towards you. It's the same with your goals. You've got to hold the vision in your mind. Okay. And an easy way to do this would be to get your vision in your mind, really feel into it, what it would look like, how you would feel, what would be around you, you know, how your vibration would be, how excited you would be, how amazing it would be to have this come true. And then I would say, start keeping, maybe you could set your clock. You could do it like three or four times a day. So do it first thing in the morning, then do it at lunchtime, then do it around three or four, and then maybe dinner time, just a little bit of time, but holding your vision is important because if you don't hold your vision, you'll get distracted. And when you get distracted, your vision kind of will go off to the wayside and that's your goal. And if your goal goes off to the wayside, you won't be able to bring it in towards you because it's too far away. Okay. I, I got three animal cards and I'm, I'm going to say this ahead of time. I'm always shocked. Like, I can't believe that this is so on point, but this is always what happens because I don't get my channeling until I actually sit with you. Uh, the first one I got was the scarab beetle spirit. The scarab beetle was extremely important to the Egyptians. This was very, very sacred to them. And it says magic works through you. Well, let me tell you something for all of you out there going, oh yeah, or really 
you have magic in you. What did I say at the beginning? You're a divine spark of spirit. You're a divine spark of God. You are an infinite being. You are limitless in capability. You need to start believing that about yourself. And you also need to believe that you can tap into magic, magic, not bad magic, the magic of the world, right? Magic works through you because you're an emotion, you're in a being that is limitless. You can work magic because you can use your mind and think something and bring it into this reality. You bring it from the 5D and your thoughts into this 3D world. That's how it works. But only if you believe. It's like, I can sit here all day and tell you that you're an infinite being, but if, at the end of the day, you're like, whatever, she's full of shit. Then that's, then that's gonna be true for you. Whatever you believe is what you believe and what will happen. So magic works through you. And this is why I always mention your team. If you want me to make a video, I really need to just do this. I'm just gonna write this down. A video on how to assemble your team it's one of the most important things you can do because not only call, are you calling on something higher than yourself, you're calling on the, the ones that protect you and guide you and have been with you through many lifetimes. Okay. The second one was dolphin spirit. You know how much I love dolphins. I've swam with dolphins. If you haven't, you must do it. I know we're in COVID, but <clears throat> they're amazing beings. And this says this and that are true. What did I just say? What did I just say? I can't make this up. What I just said was, if you believe it to be true, it will be true. If you believe it not to be true, it's not just like Henry Ford said, right? If, if I always go back to Conor McGregor, the MMA fighter, he's one of the best fighters in the world, if not the best right now, right? There was a special on him on Netflix. I can't remember the name of it. I only watched 20 minutes of it, but they showed him back in the day before he was famous. They showed him in his apartment, a little apartment in Ireland, you know, crappy, you know, no money, broke, broke as hell. And you know what? Every day he'd go to the gym and he'd be like, I'm going to be, this is what I want. I want a car for every day of the, every day. I want to drive a different car every day. I want so much money. I'll never be able to spend it. And I want to be known as the best fighter in the world, bar none, done. And he would go in and he'd be like, we don't even have the right equipment here, but he still worked out every single day. He trained like a champion. He believed he was a champion no matter what the circumstances were around him. And that's what you need to believe. And that's what I mean by holding your vision. It doesn't matter if your knees are in the dirt. It doesn't matter if you're squatting on somebody's house because you lost your house or you, you are, don't have an apartment yet. It doesn't matter. You're still a divine being. You still have limitless capabilities and you can still change your life no matter what age you are. So magic works through you. And dolphin spirit says this and that are true. So believe it. And in fact, in this Netflix, you should see it. I forgot the name of it. Somebody let me know what it is, but he actually gets um, a letter and he opens it and it's from the I Irish government saying like he owes money for tax. I don't know if it was for taxes or what it was. And he literally throws to the side, like take a number, like we're, we're broke around here. And now you look at him, right? He's on top of the world. I guarantee you that the Beyonce's, the Jay-Z's, right? Um, the biggest superstars, Madonna, um, in any arena, whether they're Olympians like Lindsey Vaughn or um, Tiger Woods, doesn't matter. The people that are super successful, okay, Bill Gates, Russell Branson, Richard Branson, um, they knew that they were different and they knew they had something to offer the world that nobody else could give. And they believed in themselves. Did you know that Sylvester Stallone, he's written almost everything he started, in, including Rocky. And do you know that once he was so broke that he sold his dog for $25 to eat? I hope he got his dog back after that. He was so broke as an actor. And when he wrote Rocky, they offered him, I don't remember the exact numbers, so don't kill me, but just say they offered him $200,000. And the brother like, here's the thing, you can't star in it. We just want the story because they knew the story was a hit. And he goes, nope, nope. He had just sold his dog for food not as food for food, let's be clear. Um, and he said, no. And you would think anybody else would be like, dude, give me that. I can write something better. I'll be on my feet. He said, nope. They came back to him three times. And then finally his stipulation was, I want the money and I'm starring in it. This is my story. And I'm, I'm the person that's going to do the job and look at him now. Hold your vision. The last one I got was Fox spirit. Think on your feet. 
fox spirit foxes are what crafty tricksters don't let your mind pick tricks on you hold your vision but they're tenacious they know what they need to do and they go do it they execute properly right so from the animal realm the attributes they're giving you which are your, is your challenge right now is fox spirit thinking on your feet right quick quickly start thinking about other options for yourself if you're trying to reinvent yourself and you've only got one option fox spirit is saying think of other options tell the universe i always claim it. it's part of what i do and you should do this too claim what you want to happen i claim that i make x amount of thousand dollars a month and then i say or more and however you want to give it to me because if you only think of it as coming in one way, you're, you're basically taking a limitless universe and only going one tiny way versus I want X and beyond that, whatever, anything more than that. And any way it wants to come to me, I'm open to it. Just be open. So think on your feet, dolphin spirit, this and that are true. Remember, think about what you believe. You are successful. You are a divine being. You have infinite transformational capabilities. And Scarab Beetle says magic works through you because you are a magical being. Okay, so that was your message. That was what you needed to know um, for your challenge from the animal world. I just wanted to write this down because I think you needed to understand that, you know, you can receive in so many ways. I just want to write this down. Okay. You will receive in many ways. Okay. From our Egyptian friends, <clears throat> we got Mutt, M-U-T. I've never heard of Mutt before. Okay. And it says, Mother Goddess, generous, charming, patient, and calm. Mutt. Mother Goddess, generous, charming patient and calm so i would normally say for me generous charming patient not calm <laughs> but i'm working on it if you're someone who's extremely um well i think this came out because you guys as a life path one are very determined people right what did i say your confidence you're exceptionally physically skilled and agility you're determined courageous independent you are a leadership authority you're an innovator um but you are a driven person, maybe more so than the other signs. Mutt is saying, be generous, be charming, be patient, be calm. Don't go around like a bull in a china shop because no matter how driven you are, you can always ask others for help, but you don't want to come across as a bully or in a, in a, you know, a bull in a china shop, like basically getting rid of everything in your way because that's not going to help you. It's not going to serve you. From the fixed stars, we got Orion. <clears throat> if you can't see this and you're listening to me, Orion is on his horse and he's got, although this looks like a girl, honest to God, it's got a girl. She's got her bow and arrow and it says knowledge, research, enlightenment. So through knowledge and research, you will become enlightened. I love Orion. It's one of those constellations, those stars that I seem always to be with me, no matter where I am in the world, I always look up, where's Orion? You know, there's usually the three stars together. Knowledge, research equals enlightenment. The message from the universe we got was nebula. And it says things are happening for reasons larger than yourself. Trust the divine, guys. What? Okay, here it is. I can't make it up. I say this every time. I can't make this up. Trust in holding your vision. Trust in the divine. Trust in spirit. Trust in God. Trust in the universe. Trust in your higher self, something bigger than you. Things are happening for reasons larger than yourself. Take yourself out of the picture and step back. Trust the divine. For the moon healing, I got cold moon. And this is, if you can't see and listening, it's a big moon. And it's got the, the tree in front of it with a lot of ice. And it says, yin yang energies, shadow work, and unconscious beliefs again. What unconscious beliefs do you have that are holding you back? Because unconscious beliefs lead to unconscious thought patterns, which lead to unconscious actions, 
which leads to unconsciously sabotaging yourself, right? It starts from the subconscious and then moves to the conscious. So start to pay attention to what old beliefs, old patterns you have, old thought processes that you have that doesn't serve you any longer. They might've been put into you when you were five years old saying you're dumb. And now you think you really are dumb and you've held that and made it gospel. When that is A, not true. And B, with somebody's just, Somebody just put that into you for because they're idiots, right? And balance. Yin yang energy is all about balance. And I think this also came up again for Life Path One because remember what I said? Now, see, this is my confirmation of what I said to you in the very beginning, which is if you're a masculine, you can have fe feminine uh, characteristics. If you have if you're feminine, you can have masculine characteristics. This happens to all of us all times a day. You switch off all the time. Depending on the environment in, you can change. I'm usually in a more masculine because I'm the first daughter. I was kind of brought up like a boy. I was taught to shoot guns. I was taught to take care of the family. And because I worked in sales, I had to be aggressive, which is a masculine culture. A female mindset would kill you in the environment I was in. Because it was like Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross. It was that bad. It was like Wall Street with, um, what was that movie that um, Leo DiCaprio did? How That's how it was. So yin yang energies for balance, right? Shadow work and unconscious beliefs. Look at what you're holding in your un subconscious unconscious. And lastly, for your astrology plan, I got earth, beautiful earth that we reside on. And it says abundance, foundation, grounded, nurturing, mother fertility. This tells me that anything that you want to happen can happen, anything. Okay, Life Path Ones, I hope you liked what I gave you today. I hope this resonated with you. Thank you so much for being here. So please do like, share, and subscribe. Let other people know about my channel. I'd really appreciate it. If you'd like to make a donation, there's a link below to PayPal. The channel would really appreciate it. It helps me do what I do. And also the course that I talked about, which is starting a week from tomorrow, um, that is going to be available. And check that out. It's four weeks. There's three or four bonuses all one-on-one -on -one time with me. You get me for an hour and a half each week and there is homework and we are going places. This is our year. So thank you for being here and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks guys.